you'll hear me say things like, I'm going to put in my time now. The fruits are going to come later. We're in the fruits of my life right now. Yeah. You have okay. to jump in that story first. Start in that story. It's called pacing. Right? Then from that story, you start leading her. And I got some very powerful questions. I'll give you a few before I go, okay? Five girlfriends on the side. This is not happening to a bachelor. It's happening to a man who has five girls to take his time all week. Some years ago, I decided that I was going to live the life that I chose to live. And what made my life very different than everybody else's, and part of the reason why you're here, and part of the reason now we got one million views on one of the videos. Um, uh, part, part of that reason is that I did it in such a unique way that pretty much every man I know would like to live my life. And recently, I would say in the last maybe two months, month or two months, maybe three months since since the rise of Achilles, Achilles rising, I've been back in the game, gaming. And if you go back to Achilles rising, you'll hear me say things like, I'm going to put in my time now, the fruits are going to come later. We're in the fruits of my life right now, okay? And I know what it feels like. And I got to tell you guys something. As a man on planet Earth, same times as you are, dealing with the same you deal with, I got to tell you, I live in paradise in, if, if there was one, I live in it. I think that you would be shocked at my experience. This is the formula for everything that I do. It just has to, you have to learn how to mix it and calibrate it. But the, but the formula is, I'm your biggest fan, dude. And that is the most seductive thing. Because that's actually what happens when a girl falls in love with you. She becomes your biggest fan and that's why you feel so great. Being in love with another person is just saying, I'm your biggest fan and I don't have eyes for nobody else. That's what she's supposed to say, right? And for you, how do I get, the, how do I spread that in so many women? You know, I had to overcome again last night that I have girlfriends. You got to remember that I got five girlfriends on the side. This is not happening to a bachelor. It's happening to a man who has five girls who take his time all week. From your perspective, you're going to be able to do stuff with this. With this. this is the force I'm tapping into, right? Right? I'm aware of it. And one of the things that's happening that this gives me this incredible level of seduction power is I, I'm, I truly respect the other person's internal world. Like I, said, I was saying to you. And even the woman, you know? Like, you're telling a story of what's happening from your perspective. Last night, I, we told the story of this chick showing up and me making out with her hand. That's my story. That's not what happened to her. She wouldn't tell the story like that. I met a guy, blah, blah, blah. I went out with this friend too. I showed up to have a drink. Now, how does she tell the story after that? What makes her fall in love? What makes her fall in love? Because if, if she heard my story that I said, no, forget about it. That's not how you fall in love. You hear my story? But her story is different. That's the power of seduction. Go back to some way camps. I don't remember which camp it was, but I remember teaching this tech. You got to go into her and look from her perspective. You look different. You sound different than you think. You're presenting yourself differently than you, than you think. It's not the same story. She's not saying that about you. Who are you? Who texted her? A guy who what? She met that did what? Asked her what? Does what? What does he want from her? What day is it? Why is she? Why is he calling at this time? Why does he seem like he needs to see her so bad? What does he? What does he want from her? What's the story she's telling herself about you? You have to jump in that story first. Start in that story. It's called pacing, right? Then from that story, you start leading her. And I got some very powerful questions. I'll give you a few before I go. Okay. Have you ever been in love before? That's one of my questions that moves me into this world with, with the girl. You have? Oh, yeah? How long ago was that? She's answering. Okay, I'm just giving you my part. How long ago was that? Okay. So how has it been since then? Have you, have you been able to move on or what? Oh, yeah? Are you angry? I mean, you have a right to be. When did you find out? When did you find out that it was over? Because, you know, you were in love, right? What, 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 
When did you find out he was cheating? Oh, I see. Yeah. Do you ever think you're going to be in love again? If you could get to this part, this is the second milestone. Something changes in her. When she answers the first one, then I move her. The second answer, this one answered, moves her into another world. You never think you're going to be in love again? She'll look at you differently. This is how she fell in love last night. I'm telling you. You ever think you'll be in love again? A, B, C. Okay, let me just hear her in my head. You ever think you'll be in love again? Would you, do you want to be in love? Do you like the feeling of being in love? It's amazing, right? I love, I, I love being in love. I really do. I really do. And you know what? I love my parents. I'm extremely close to my, my mom and my dad. Yeah. Um, so there's different kinds of love, but I love the feeling of loving. Um, when you feel love, where do you feel it? In your system, where do you feel it? Some people feel it in their head, their heart, lower. Some people in their tummy, some lower. Yeah. Oh, right there, yeah. Hey, do you ever believe that um, you've lived before? Like, do you think this is the first time as a soul that you're here? Do you think it's the first time as a soul that you're here? Or do you think as a soul you've you've had other other lives? Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm sure of it, actually. Yeah. You, you ever believe, like, you know, coincidences are more than coincidences? Yeah. Yeah, and then, I mean, I'm getting experience. I'm not going to, I would ask her questions. She would tell me. But these are the questions, right? Um, do you ever, yeah. Well, do you believe in vampires and werewolves? Do you believe in vampires and werewolves? Yeah, no, I'm not a vampire. I know vampires and I know werewolves. But I'm going to tell you something about me. I'm the one they respect and fear the most. And that's who these guys are. That's who we are. Did you know that? Okay, well, who did you think we were then? What, what did you think I do? What, what what do you think I do? Honestly. Do you think that, and you think whatever she says, whatever she says, you teach men how to be in relationships, uh, you teach martial arts, you make music, whatever she says. And you think if I was doing that, I would have the power that I have? Do you, do you think that's why I, the, the respect, because I do that? You don't know other people that do that? You don't know other people that make music or do martial arts? No, that's actually not what's going on. So you said you believe in vampires. No, I'm not a vampire. You believe in vampires? Okay, so it's kind of like that. I live in a different world. Let me tell you something. I'm an old, old dragon. Ancient. Look at me. I'm serious. Look at me. I'm an ancient dragon. Can you feel it? I'm so old. Yeah, this is just my cover. So anyways, that's what I am. That's a real talk last night. And she boom, boom. Right, and it goes further and further, but it's this type of conversation that you're they're watching the outside of. And then at some point, me asking her somewhere in there, asking her about, um, I'm gonna ask you a question. I don't want you to judge the answer. I just want you to just let the answer come up. Have you and I known each other in a past life? Yes or no? What did you get? My knees started to shake, she said. Your knees shook? What did you get? She looks at me. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you one more question. Just see what happens, okay? Go in her ear. Were you and I married before? Were you my love? Were you the love of my life? What? It's just something here. What does it feel like? Does it feel like yes or does it feel like no? It feels like yes. Yeah, it's true. I also feel that. Why do you think I asked you these questions? Okay. That coupled with all this other that I was saying and doing. Okay. Are you kidding me? I make a man fall in love. All right. Now, what's crazy, what's crazy or really the, crazy is the wrong word. What's amazing, what's amazing is I, I actually, I'm saying things that I believe. I'm not making it up. I can't prove that it's true, but I'm saying what I believe is true. And I'm having the courage to say it. 
So I do believe she's known me in a past life. I do believe she's been mine. Not because her and I have some amazing connection, but because she's sitting next to me and I know who I am and I'm what I'm doing in this life. So are you one of my girls or not? Because if you're not, move on. There's a lot of guys here. But if you are, then you're mine and I recognize it and you'll never not be mine anymore. It's that That's that frame that I have. It's real because I have all these multiple girlfriends. I've had multiple girlfriends for a long time. Multiple girlfriends that come back after they go. Like I'd spend, That's my storyline. It's true for me. And whatever you think of you truly is actually how you're living. That's the, tri that's the trippy part. So somehow this is true for me. And I don't know how it became true because it wasn't true when I was younger. But I can tell you it was a dream of mine. I'm living my dream. I'm living my fantasy, truly. And all I did was just know what I want and ask for it. But now I think this was already in me and this is what was speaking. So that's why I tell you, whatever you really desire, whatever you really want, I think you're just looking at your future. I think you just have a little patience and know you're looking at your own future. Because I'm not seeing your vision and you're not seeing my vision. And if it was something else, we might be seeing the same vision. But the fact that your vision is so unique of you, right? It must be coming from inside of you somewhere. I can't prove this, but that's how I live. Just like I can't prove anything I say and said, but there is the answer. The answer is in the result, okay? The results I get, we can test. I grab her hand and I say, before before I do it, but by now we have high level Kino. I say to her, I go, so I'm going to say the words and show you the timing, okay? So I have her hand here. My, my, my knife is here, right? And I go like this. I go, she doesn't know it's a knife. It's in my sweats. I go, this is my knife you're feeling, not my And I let her feel it. This is my knife you're feeling, not my You feel that? That's not my That's a knife. Then she's looking at me. And then I lift up my shirt and she sees my knife. And I looked at her. I said, that's my knife. But just, <laughs> just be the girl for a second. Right? It's, it's cool to hear from this way. But from her perspective, I'm holding her hand. We kiss. It's going whatever. And then the guy goes, you're not expecting it. He goes, this is my knife you're feeling. And, you, and he goes to his crotch and she feels this in my pants. And then I lift up my shirt and she sees the knife. And it was just a really interesting moment. Because later, later, as things went whatever, got even better, I grabbed her hand and I put on my And I said, that's my not my knife. <laughs> You see, you see how it plays out? And of course she laughed. I said, yeah, that's the difference. I go, now we're connected, all right? It doesn't matter how fine you are. If you don't connect to me up here, here, I don't get hard. In fact, and I went into a story. In fact, just last week, some chick was over, the chick, the, the, the chick that came here. And I couldn't get hard. And she was beautiful, tatted, perfect body, dancer. So I'm describing. I said, but I couldn't get hard. So I told her to come lay down, relax. I said, let's talk, whatever. And I said, because I'll connect. So I, it's a DHV story of me, this hot ass girl who came from LA, who was a dancer, who I couldn't get hard for because she wasn't comfortable and relaxed. And she thought she had to perform. Like, no, get get with me, like on this level, right? And when you do that, it's like a, it's a nag and it drops the shield. It's weird. Like, I, I used it this weekend too many times already. Like almost everybody heard that story that I said. Every girl has heard the story almost now, except my own girlfriend. 